the word legend can be abused in the motor in motoring terms, but there are certain legends, and here's one: Subaru WRX. The name says it all, I reckon. And those who are fans of motoring, motor racing, rallying will know the name very well. You can see over here the mean aggressive front with a front spoiler down at the bottom, the bonnet scoop to give you extra cooling to that two liter flat four turbo engine, 197 kilowatts, 350 newton meters of torque. Just the aggressive lines. This is the latest version, of course. You've got, of course, these very mean 18 inch alloys over here with low profile tires the scoop over here, the air cooling scoop over here, and the legend WRX over there again. But what's interesting, it's on a medium sized sedan, which does give you practicality of a sedan along the way. And that's quite an interesting fact. You come round to read that legend over there, which is really important, telling you that it does have Subaru's typical asymmetrical all wheel drive system that, let me tell you, gives you unbelievable road holding and you really want that as well and you come to a very nice sized 460 liter boot over here as well so it could be your family sedan could be but then again I think it's too much fun to be a family sedan quite honestly and I've got to tell you the ride may be a touch hard as a family sedan you come down over here you've got the diffuser over here with a rear brake light in the center and the four exhausts telling you that this car means business. Handling, road holding, ride are amazing. Yes, it's a bit hard, but it's what you want if you want this kind of car. Let's check out what I was saying about it being an almost executive level sedan, hidden and almost hiding itself away as a sports sedan. WRX is an interesting beast in the sense that, of course, it's the latest in a line of really special machines, and I'm using the word machines, that Subaru have brought out over the years, and even STI versions on top of that. 197 kilowatts out of this engine, 350 newton meters of torque. It's got that side of things. It's, of course, got Subaru's eyesight technology for safety, for active braking, uh, the active cruise control on eyesight, things like that. And then you're surrounded by luxury. You've got, of course, your full touch screen. You've got that upper screen up above over there that gives the information. You can see it's on boost at the moment just to show you that this is a performance vehicle, multifunction steering wheel. Interesting feature is on the doors, there is no auto locking. You have to press that little button to lock your doors. Now, I don't know, in South Africa, I really would have appreciated auto locking. You can see we've done just over 300 kilometers on this test so far, and I haven't got fuel consumption figures for you, but then again, you're not going to buy a car like this if you're worried about your fuel consumption. Come standard with a sunroof, and you can see lots and lots of space in the back seat as well. So there's the practical side to this car. Then it has features like a pretty hard drive, but you want that from a car that you want to perform. And if you go into SI mode or SI plus mode, just at the click of a button on the steering wheel, it changes the engine mapping, brings your turbo in even earlier. And certainly, if you think you're going to kick up the rear end in normal circumstances driving this car when you're driving it, well, haha, <laughs> wait till you've got in that mode. Then you'll know the difference. Of course, you've got your CVT automatic gearbox, which Come on, nobody would even know it's a CVT as far as I'm concerned unless you really, really picked it out. Subaru have pretty much perfected that as well. Flappy paddles to override if you're playing with this car, and believe me, this is a car you can play with and get a lot of playing done, and I tried that through the twisties through to how to best put, and it certainly does that because don't forget Subaru's asymmetrical all-wheel drive system. Holds the road like the glue sticks like you can't believe so overall yes great performance vehicle and it does the performance side of things so very very well but whether i'd take it as a daily drive could be a little bit hard for me i must be honest but age who knows what it is i'd love one in the garage for sunday blasts and even for track days i think so 
it's entirely up to your budget and what you've got available for a car and what you're looking for out of a car. 631,000 Rand puts you into this model. There is a manual version available as well at 580. Choices only you can make. Not too many competitors in this category. Of course, you've got to start looking at the genuine hot hatches, the Golf R, the McGain RS, the Honda Civic Type R, Focus RS. Those all would come, although they are hatches, would all come into a category, I would say, that is fairly, fairly similar to this. Got to tell you, I've had fun playing with this, though. Because I would say that's where the category this falls into. A lot and lots of fun. For Motor Matters, I'm Eleanor and I'll see you next time.